a little bit of shopping. I need to put some lipstick on. I need to change my camera battery. So, hello phone. If you can see all this mess going on back here, just ignore it. My life is chaos right now. I'm, I'm going to sort it out. I promise. Hi guys and welcome back. So I went shopping. So I figured I'm going to show you what I bought. I went to Primark and I went to H&M. So we have a haul video for you. I'm going to start straight off with the top I have on. Um, I'm going to film some um, like inserts so you can actually see everything better. Um, but I've just got this top. You won't be able to see it so well now. Um, and I do have a white vest top underneath because it is completely sheer and I am leaving soon to go to work so I don't really feel that it's appropriate to wear it with just a bra underneath um, heading over to work but it's so comfortable, it's so light um, you can wear it like I say with just a bra, I would um, on a nice sunny day it's great also to throw over a bikini for example or just to wear like a little bandeau underneath um, it's lovely. It was 10 euros from Primark and this is in a size 6. Moving on, I'm going to do all Primark stuff first. I should have probably prepared this one better. I actually wore this yesterday and I am in love with it. So it's this shirt. So you can see it's slightly longer at the back. Just a nice vertical striped shirt. It's white with like a, a navy blue. This was 14 euros, which for Primark it's slightly up there, but it is beautiful, it fits lovely. I got so many compliments when I wore it yesterday. It's got little turned up sleeves that you can do with uh, the little button thingy or you can wear them long. But um, yeah, this, it, it's stunning. It looked lovely on and like I say, I got a lot of compliments. And again, this is in a size six as most of the things are. I also picked up another shirt, which looks a little something like this. So it's the same kind of idea. I love these with like a pair of skinny jeans and like nude heels or wedges or something. You can just like tuck the shirt in at the front. I think it looks super cute. This one was only nine euros. So this one was quite a bit cheaper, but you can definitely feel it in the material. The material of this one feels a little bit thicker. Um, not thick, it's not heavy, but this one is definitely a thinner material and it's definitely kind of more on the sheer side but I absolutely love it and I'm really into that kind of thing right now Okay, I picked up a pair of shorts Now, if any of you guys have been watching me for a while I did a haul video a year ago, if not more where I bought a couple of skirts and said that I was going to try and wear them I still have not worn them, I'm still trying to wear them. I've picked up a pair of shorts, I don't know if I'm going to wear these, um, some of you probably won't know but my legs are my kind of biggest point of insecurity so getting my legs out is a scary process and they're super super pale but it's so hot and I love the way little denim shorts look. This is what they look like. So they're not super short at all, they cover my butt entirely because nobody, you know, the whole world doesn't need to see my butt when I'm walking down the street. Um, so yeah, they're long enough, they come underneath the butt and you can um, roll these up more, which I experimented with when I was trying them on. Um, they are mid-length short, is what they say on them, and they were 11 euros. They are really comfy and they're that kind of really stretchy material. So they are super, super comfy. And, and I have in mind kind of what I want to wear with them. It's just whether I can get the balls to actually wear them. So we'll see. If I do, I will maybe put a picture on Instagram or something. If you're not following, following me there, it's DIY and me. Um, definitely will be applying some... Sally Hansen airbrush legs or something first because the whole world does not need to be blinded by my legs but um, yeah, these work really cute and these are in a 34 which again is a UK size 6 
I picked up this top and I absolutely love it. I saw this and I just couldn't resist. It's tacky, but I'm in love. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see, but it's, it says, do not worry, be happy. Can you see it? So it's got like these super long um, armholes with like a rough edge cut. So it looks really cute to wear with like a cute bralette underneath. It hangs pretty low and it's just very light, it's very comfortable. It did say eight euros on the tag, but when she scanned it at the till, it was three euros, which I absolutely love it when that happens. Oh, love it. But there we go, super cute. Again, this is a size six. Love it. So the next things I picked up are pretty boring really, and they are a bunch of these vest tops. I love these vest tops from Primark. I've got one on today underneath here. So I picked up a couple in white because I wear these all the time and I picked up a bunch in black because I wear these under my uniform at work. Again, they are all size sixes and they are just €2.30. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. And like I say, I wear these under everything. That's it for clothing from Primark, but I got a bunch of accessories because let's face it, you can't go to Primark without buying accessories. So I saw this and I just fell in love. It looks like this. I don't know if you can really see the print on it so good, but it's basically London and it says, I love London on there. It's got Covent Garden on there, which is my favorite place in London. Uh, it's got Carnaby Street, Piccadilly, and I just thought, A, that it was cool that I could get a London, like, British thing in Holland. But um, it's really cute, too. It's basically like a passport holder kind of thing for when you're traveling. Now, if anyone knows me, you know that I love my kind of organization. And if I do have to travel anywhere, I check my bag probably five times before I leave the house. I have my passport, that I have my ticket, and that I have any other kind of important documentation I might need. So this has a little popper to open it. You've got a little zip in the front here. And then you can see, let me take out this paper. It actually is separated like um, a binder would be, if you can see. So you've got ticket, passport and other. So you literally have a little section for everything that you may need when you're going on your travels. There's also a part in the back to put like your cards and things. So if you have an ID card or something like that, um, you can put some cash in here. So everything is in here. When you're in the airport, it's super handy. You don't have to root through your bag for a million different things or do what I do and have like all my paperwork in a folder tucked in the front of my suitcase. You can have it all in here. It's all safe, it's all in one place. Plus it keeps your passport protected. I need to get a new passport because mine has expired. But if you see my passport, it's a 10 year passport and it's a mess. You can barely even see like the um, print on the front of it. it. That's pretty much all gone. Luckily it's run out, otherwise I probably wouldn't be able to use it for much longer anyway. So this keeps everything neat, tidy and organized and it's just so cute. And it cost eight euros. Love it. Next up, I got a couple of pair of shoes because Alvin, at the age of one and a half, has decided just now he wants to start chewing my shoes. So he chewed up a pair of flip-flops I got from Primark last year or the year before. Luckily, they were really, really affordable, so it's not the end of the world. But I love them. But it means I needed to buy some new ones. They're, they're, they're the same, just in two different colours. So they look like this. You've got one with pink straps and one with brown straps. They were five euro each. And I don't like shoes that have the like little piece that goes between your toe. They always give me blisters. I find them uncomfortable. So I'm always looking for ones that kind of strap over your feet. Let me see if I can show you up closer. They are, this one is a pink thread and it's got kind of gold detailing through it. But they're really cute. They were really comfortable when I tried them on. And again, this is the same in brown. Yes, they are huge. Yes, I have massive feet. These are a size seven, but we'll skip over that fact. If I had small feet, I'd fall over because I'm tall. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But they were five euros and I think they are cute. Next up, I got a couple of pairs of sunglasses. Now, I'm gonna apologize because these are gonna reflect really badly, probably. But I got 
these. They were three euro each. I've already worn these ones, so that's why the tags are often. But these are a lovely rose gold colour. They're kind of big, but I don't know. I like it. I feel kind of like model off duty almost. You know, whack on a nice red lip or something. Big shades. You know, no one needs to know what's going on underneath here. But I love the colour. I think they're really cute. They fit me really nicely, and they're not wonky. I don't know what it is. I think I have a wonky face. Either my ears are wonky, or my nose is wonky, or something, but so many glasses end up wonky on me. But I love these. They are the kind of style that suit my face better, like the aviator style. So we've got the rose gold ones, and this one has like the silver frames with the darker glass. And for three euro, you can't really go wrong. And all of the um, Primark Sunnies come with um, a little kind of protective sunglasses case with them as well so three euros I think it's an absolute bargain I am totally in love with rose gold at the moment so I picked up some earrings I will film a close-up for you guys because you won't be able to see these but they're the ones that kind of hook you know you put them through your ear but then they come like round the back and underneath if you get what I mean but they are rose gold the um, piece that goes through your ear is just a rose gold stud and the bottom are like rose gold diamante things underneath but these were two euros and I think they're cute I love Primark jewelry it's so affordable and you can't really go wrong with it the only other thing I picked up from Primark was this necklace I've worn this already so that's why it doesn't have any tags on it I wore it last night but it's just two rose gold chains if you will they're kind of like a flat metal chain but I absolutely love it it's so simple yet so cute and it can pretty much go with anything so love it and it looked good when I wore it yesterday the only other things are from H&M and I just got two things from there now when I was in Primark I tried on what felt like a hundred pairs of jeans it's really difficult for me to buy jeans that fit me nicely everything in Primark was either too baggy around my butt too baggy around my knees because I was trying on like skinny jeans. I was looking for a pair of skinny jeans with like rips down the front that would look cute with just like some sandals or some heels or even some boots. But I had no luck in Primark so I went over to H&M and I picked these up. So they are just a light wash skinny jean and they are skinny. They fit my butt, they fit down my legs, you know there's no bagginess anywhere. They have some rips in the knees and they just go straight down and they have like a, a rough unhemmed kind of cut at the bottom which goes along I think with the kind of ripped style these were 39.99 so obviously a lot more expensive than what you're going to pick up from Primark but I didn't have much of a choice um, and they're the super skinny low waist they say and these are a size 28 with 30 legs I love that about H&M as well that they do like different leg lengths for those people that are taller or shorter. I picked up one other pair of trousers from there which I also wore last night along with the shirt. This is going to be hard to show you. This is my kind of style. So they're just a black pant. They're kind of um, almost like cigar trousers. They're, they're a lot baggier in the top and then they go thinner at the ankles. They sit really baggy and really loose on the body. They have an elasticated waistband. You will see them better when I put an insert in. But I wore these with some black boots last night and that shirt and it absolutely looked lovely. And these were only 10 euros. Plus, I love the fact that they have pockets. I have a few kind of pairs of trousers in this kind of style and they never have pockets, which drives me crazy. But these have pockets, love them. The lighting is going crazy with me holding this stuff up. But that is everything I got in my haul. I hope you liked it. If you've got any questions about prices or sizes if I didn't mention it leave it below and if you have any video requests also leave it in the comments below if you are not subscribed to my channel already don't forget to hit the button I never know what side it is it's down here somewhere hit the subscribe button so you can get notifi notified every time I post a video which is usually once a week I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>